Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have a plus b equals to 3 and a b equals to also 3. So we solve this problem for the values of a and b. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now first we focus in equation number 1. So that equation number 1 is implies that here we move this a to the right hand side and we get the value of b is equals to 3 minus a and we call this is our equation number 3. So now we put this value of b in equation number 2 so that equation number 2 is implies that here you have a b and when you put this value of b here it will be written as a times of 3 minus a is equals to 3. And now uh, here further in the next step we multiply this a on both of these values and it will be written as 3a minus a square and we move this plus 3 in the left hand side it will becomes minus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we uh, rearrange the terms and here first we can uh, write the negative term this is minus a square and this is plus 3a and this is minus 3 is equals to 0. So that now you see here this is a minus a square we need to uh, uh, make this negative sign positive for this we will multiplying on both of the sides by minus 1. So when you multiply both of the sides by minus 1 so it means that we need to change the signs of each of these terms so it will be written as a this is plus a square and this is minus 3a and this is plus 3 equals to 0. So this equation will become quadratic equation in a variable so that here we can apply the quadratic formula to solve this equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 3 and c is equals to 3 and we state the quadratic formula as a is equals to um, here we can write uh, these coefficients into the capital form capital a capital b and capital c okay so uh, we have this is small a is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the, our quadratic formula and now we put the values of uh, a, b and c in this formula. Uh, so uh, here when we put the value of uh, b, so you see here the value of b is minus 3. So this will be written as minus times of minus 3 plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is 3 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as a is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 3 and plus minus square root of minus 3 square equals to 9 minus this is 4 times of 3 becomes here 12 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. And now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as a is equals to 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 12 is equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2. And here you see that a negative sign appears inside the square root so we can apply the square root on both of these values so it will be written as 3 plus minus square root of 3 into this is square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and here uh, we will get uh, this is 3 plus minus 3 times uh, uh, this is square root of 3 into minus 1 square root is equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So here you see that we get uh, the two values of a uh, and now uh, for these two values of a we can uh, find the corresponding values of b. So that uh, here we can first write the positive value here it will be written as 3 plus square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is 3 minus square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 
so uh, these are the two values of a and now here we need uh, to copy down equation number three so that equation number three is implies that uh, b is equals to three minus a so for uh, above two values of a we find the corresponding values of b uh, so here first we put uh, this value of a here and we can find the value of b so we have b is equals to this is 3 minus a the value of a in this case is 3 plus square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 and in the parallel case we put this value of a here and it will be written as b is equals to 3 minus a and in this case the value of a is 3 minus square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 so in the next step we need uh, some simplifications in this case and we have b is equals to uh, so here first we can solve uh, this case and here we get the value of b so that now we need to take the LCM of this term and its LCM is 2 and now we multiply this 2 on 3 and you get here 2 3 is a 6 and minus these are cancelled out by each other and we get here 3 plus square root of 3 into iota and now uh, similarly uh, if you can follow this case so here again we take the LCM of this term and you get here 2 and this is 2 times 3 becomes 6 and these are cancelled out by each other and we write the above term this is 3 minus square root of 3 into iota. So uh, here in this case we multiply this negative sign on each of these values and it will be written as 6 minus 3 minus square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 so here we get the value of b is equals to uh, 6 minus 3 is equals to 3 minus square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 so this is the uh, value of b corresponding to the value of a is this one okay so now here uh, we solve our second case so that in second case uh, here we can simplify these terms and we have b is equals to 6 and we multiply this negative sign on each of these values and it will be written as minus 3 plus square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. So from this case we get the value of b is equals to this is 6 minus 3 equals to 3 plus square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. So this is the second value of b corresponding to the value of a is this one okay so finally we have the two roots of the given equation are uh, we have the values of a and b is equals to the first root is uh, if you have the value of a is 3 plus square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 this is the value of a and corresponding value of b is 3 minus square root of 3 iota divided by 2. This is the first root of the given equation and similarly the second root is the value of a is 3 minus square root of 3 iota over 2 and corresponding value of b is 3 plus square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. This is the second value of b. So these are the two solutions of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.